Hi guys, I am here with Jake of Alpha Sydney, one of the first teams to participate in the RLCS from OCE. You guys got knocked out, but are you enjoying California? Yeah, it's been a really fun experience meeting all the players, you know, we've watched for ages. It's, you know, I don't know, it sucks to be knocked out, but it's been a good experience, you know. Now, have you played against all these teams before online or in other competitions? No, we don't really like playing online because we have to deal with like 200 ping and it's just such a disadvantage, you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, like I said, this is the first time that OCE is being a part of R the RLCS. What does that mean for the OCE competitive t scene? Uh, well, because we were isolated, we were quite a bit behind the meta and stuff. Like, our backboard defense is pretty rubbish compared to EU. So, coming here, we're hoping to, like, you know, bring that back to OCE and just advance the meta a bit, make us a little better as a region. So, do you think that you and your teammates picked up any new tricks or strategies from competing here? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's so different competing over here. Uh, you know, like, one big thing is you can't rely on the backboard as much because their backboard defense is, like, amazing. So, we want to bring back good backboard defense in our play, bring back better passing plays. We just, we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot. Is there... Now, what does it mean for you and your team to come in and represent OCE as a whole? Uh... You know, it's been cool. I, I don't know. I don't really feel like we're representing OCE too much. You know, we're just kind of representing ourselves. But, you know, it's been a fun time, you know, having the crowd go, yeah, like, yeah, OCE, we're not that bad. Nice, you know. Now, I mean, I, I think a lot of people didn't really expect too much out of you and Jam Gaming coming yeah. in. But you came in and you knocked someone out. So how does it feel kind of coming in and proving some people wrong? Yeah, well, personally, we felt like we had the edge on denial. And it was, you know, like James Bot being like, OC won't win a series. We got to pie him in the face for that. That was fun. Uh, you know, it, it's been good having everyone just going like, we didn't realize you guys weren't awful. You know, we had no idea who you were. So it's, it's been fun, like, seeing people realize we're not awful. So what's pieing them in the face? Like, you physically put a pie in their face or? Yeah, so um, Yummy Cheese Man and James Bot made a bet where if OC won a single series, we'd get a whipped cream pie. And, and we did that yesterday on Twitter if you want to check that out. Or the, so it's on Yummy's Twitter, my Twitter. It was really fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. That sounds fun. Are there any teams that you're personally rooting for um, for the rest of the championship? Oh, uh, I love the boys' flip side. They're all really great guys. Mock it as well. KDOP, EU MVP. What a boy. Uh, pretty, yeah, I don't know. They're, those are two favorite teams right now for us. So what is Alpha Sydney's plans for the future? Like, are you guys going to go train you gonna get ready for the next one well we've been boot, boot camping for a week and that's been pretty exhausting and we have to get home and do like so many assignments for school so we're gonna take a bit of a break and then just really make sure we like stay at the top of OCE don't want to miss out on like next season's RLCS are you still in high school right now uh, I'm at university uh, drip and toaster in high school I love it how are you guys balancing the school work and then the rocket league work uh I, know, I guess we're just sacrificing some free time, you know, also sacrificing school. I don't do too much work at home. It, it's tough. And, you know, it's, it's one of the things that like holding OCE back a bit because with like the bigger EU and NA orgs, they can really afford to like, you know, l make a living off Rocket League where we have to, you know, balance it with school and work. So, you know, it's hard, but you, everyone in OCE has to do it. <laughs> What kind of change do you think needs to happen in OCE? Just bigger sponsors need to get involved or? Yeah, so the viewership isn't great in OCE. Like before coming here, the most viewers we had was like 5,000 or something. And that was like insane at the time. That was the RLCS qualifier. Mm -hmm. And then coming here after the game, it was like, oh yeah, those are 100,000 viewers. And we were like, what the hell? You know, it was like really cool. So obviously viewership would mean better sponsors, more money in the game. And then, you know, maybe you could live professionally off Rocket League. Uh, yeah, that's probably the big thing. I know we've seen some moms in the crowd. Did you have, did you or your teammates have any parents come out? Oh uh, yeah, my, my mom's the soccer mom of Australia. She goes to all the lands and it's pretty funny. There's a few articles about her like, oh, I saw an elderly couple at this, you know, land event. It's like so cute to see them supporting their son, you know, stuff like that. That was funny. Uh, Drip and Toss's parents are here, you know, legally. There's like tons of mums in the crowd. Like Rogue's parents are borderline annoying how loud they are, but you know, it's cute to see. I love it. Well, do you have anything that you'd like to say to your friends or family watching at home or your mom who cheered you on? Uh, my um, engineering friends roasted me for not shouting them out last time. So, hey, guys. Uh, you know, just shout out to all the new fans we've made. Ho hopefully, you know, that's been good. And, yeah, that's really it.
Well, Jake, thank you so much. I hope to see more from OCE and Alpha Sydney in the future. And for everyone else, you can check out more of our coverage at Yahoo Esports.